Being a former global number one player in Mobile Legends, I did just stick to this game. But recently after playing Jump Assemble and comparing them, there was an itch in me to compare MLVB to other popular MOBA games. So I did just that. I downloaded all the popular MOBA games and just sunk hours and hours of time so I could make this video. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video, let's compare MLBB to some of the most popular MOBA games out there. Mobile Legends Bang Bang and Pokemon Unite both are MOBA but they can't be more different thematically in game style and targeting audience. Mobile Legends is a fantasy style game with deep lores and mature characters. They have their universe, stories, politics and regions. As for Pokemon, it is one of many games by original creator Satoshi Tajiri. It doesn't have its own story or in-game lore and is Nintendo exclusive. Graphics are drastically different from each other. Graphics of MLBB to more realistic approach with realistic characters and complex skill set. The games last until you beat your opposing team or get beaten. As for Pokemon, it is more friendly and cartoonish with child-friendly graphics and energetic gameplay. It is a fast phase as you get only 10 minutes. Though it is also a MOBA, the objective of the game is completely different as your objective is to score as many points as possible in these 10 minutes. Each hero of MLBB has its unique abilities and they are not affiliated with any existing intellectual property. The characters are diverse and represent different sections of the real world. Pokemon of Pokemon Unite is a spin-off of the popular Pokemon franchise. The characters are like a fan service for the Pokemon fans. They don't have their stories and are not related to each other. But each Pokemon has its own abilities and evolutions, making it a unique take on the traditional MOBA games. Where most of the MOBA have a three-lane map system, Pokemon Unite have two. And the mid area is for junglers. Instead of having minions, you have to kill other NPC Pokemon to get their bow. and score points into the Nexus. In gameplay, Mobile Legends took a more traditional approach where you have to select a character and select a spell, which most of the time depends on the role you are playing and the hero you are going for. After the game started, you have to get to your lanes and try to destroy enemy turrets. Meanwhile, you will have to make your build, which will make you stronger, faster, durable, or in some case, you will get some extra skills depending on your build. It is completely different from the Pokemon Unite which took a different approach. After selecting a character, you will have to pick your item of choice which will grant you different abilities. There is no concept of builds but the rest is similar to any other MOBA except you will have to score points and whoever have the most point win. So in short, MLBB is more traditional and mature but Pokemon Unite is more unique and colorful. Honor of Kings Next, let's head on and check Honor of Kings. The difference between Honor Kings and MLBB is not that much if we just consider the theme. I would say the difference between them is that the Honor of Kings theme leans much closer to Link than MLBB. We can see that in the differences in art style. Like? ML characters have a much more cartoonish anime as art style, while Honor Kings maintain that raw realistic art style. When we see them side by side, Honor of Kings has more defined anatomy on the characters. Speaking of characters, the Honor of Kings characters are more Chinese themed. I mean, at least from what I see, they too like MLBB, do have backstories and are all well developed. The only thing I see as a difference is the amount of inhuman characters in this game has. MLBB currently has 122 heroes but there are very few characters that don't look human but this game does have a lot of diversity in its characters. Now let's take a look at the maps and how different they are. To be honest with you that I don't see that many differences between but the in-game map is much more different. ML is more vibrant and colorful compared to the Honor of Kings. And Honor of Kings have a greedy cold, a little bit of dark map. I mean, who am I kidding? The overall theme looks pretty similar to the LOL map. And then let's check out the gameplay. I'm telling you in advance that the ping was too high. So from the couple of games I played, the difference between MLBB and Honor of Kings is not that much. 
but I did notice some key differences. The towers are much harder, much much harder than MLB V2 tech down. The skill effects aren't really out of this world compared to the few heroes that I played, some heroes might be better. So which game do you think is the better one? Comment down below. Next, let's check out on Myoji Arena. Like every other game, let's start comparing the themes. We'll all know that MLBB theme is somewhat of a fantasy world, which happens in a fantasy setting, which features themes involving every aspect of the world. But in the Onmyoji arena, we see a much more heavy Japanese theme going on. From the announcer to the towers, we can see it has an Edo-ish Japanese theme, which is pretty cool. Next, let's check out the characters. Following the theme, the characters have a heavy Japanese inspiration behind them, which is a pretty evident. One interesting part of this game is that this game features anime characters as heroes, which is similar to Jump Assemble, but I do think Jump Assemble does a better job. Let's check out the map of this game. The map of this game is yes, heavily Japanese inspired and is unique in its unique way. And the ML map leans more towards a fantasy world map, which is more traditional in mobile. But the load and turtle in Onmyoji are too cool, even the buffs compared to ML are amazing. I love the map of Onmyoji, so ML please we want a Japanese inspired proper map. And finally, let's get into the gameplay. While the normal gameplay is pretty in line with MOBAs that we see, there are some key differences in this game. The game generally goes on longer than ML as the maximum level here is 18 and the game generally is a bit slow compared to ML. And the skill mechanics and effects of all characters I played were pretty good. Yeah, this game is super good, you should check it out. Marvel Super War as the name suggests, this game is set in the Marvel Universe, allowing players to control and battle using iconic Marvel superheroes and villains. Speaking of superheroes and villains, we do know that Marvel Super Wars has all the characters from Marvel Comics. As you can see, I am playing one of my favorite superheroes, the Hulk. How cool is that? I do prefer ML characters as the one they are original even if people say they are copycats of other series. Mobile Legends Bang Bang It follows the classic MOBA formula which was popularized in League of Legends and is pretty fast compared to other MOBAs, at least in the higher ranks. The gameplay is much easier compared to other MOBA and the game mechanics are pretty good. Marvel Super War it also follows the traditional MOBA format with teams of 5 players. But Marvel Super Wars is much slower paced and might be a bit more complex. Next, let's check out the game that was mean to overthrow MLBB, League of Legends Wild Rift. LOL Wild Rift follows the theme of League of Legends, but Wild Rift is a bit more cartoony. LOL Wild Rift has all the characters that were created in the league, so yeah, just comparing League of Legends would be better, but I think a separate video comparing both would be just better because League is a such complex game and leaving out all the intricate details that inspired MLBB demands a separate video. Lastly, we have the gameplay. I don't really see too many differences here, but still, I would say LOL Wild Rift is much more slower paced game, but the timing is relatively the same. The graphics and mechanics are just plain better in Wild Rift as it is more realistic and fun. Let's compare Dota 2 to MLBB. Let me tell you, this comparing Mobile Legends to Dota is like comparing Apple to Oranges. Yes, they both are fruits, but they are very very different fruits. The amount of differences between Dota and ML also needs to be in a different video, so I think we should just do that. But still, let me just compare the surface stuff. Both themes on the surface again just fantasy worlds with fantasy characters but the core theme of both games looks very different. And the characters, after looking at that, we can say the characters couldn't be more different. Again, I think we do need a separate video for this. So for the last game, we have Arena of Valor. Arena of Valor is also a mobile MOBA game, which is the first mobile MOBA to be released. And when we move on to the characters, the similarities between League of Legends and AOV are just too many. The characters' looks and function are very similar to LOL. So I don't think this place needs much more addressing. 
and at last we have the gameplay. To be honest, there aren't too many differences except a few creeps moved in a different place and you can heal behind your tower. The graphics are just too better in ML, no matter what anyone might say, I just prefer ML graphics by a mile. So out of all the games which were compared, which do you think is the best game out there? Have you tried playing all the games or will you check out these games after seeing this video? Comment down all the answers below. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.